why are we called consumers? Uh, I get that it's a term of art in the consumer packaged goods business, and I get that they think that the store is the actual customer and that we're just the consumers coming in and out. But if you look in Webster's Dictionary, to consume is to destroy often wastefully, uh, as in consumed by fire. The thing is dead at the end. It's worthless. It's, it's basically ashes. And I don't think that we do that. I think we've never really done that. But now in particular, because we're connected to each other and because we're able to talk to each other and get together, we can actually do things. We co-produce content, uh, you know, all sorts of terms right now about user-generated media or UGM and, and so forth are, are hot in the marketplace. But more than that, we're actually talking with each other and we're doing things to better our lives. Now, the old way of looking at us as consumers is actually the, the, the language of a military campaign. The language of advertising is just like running a war. You run a campaign against target demographics, you launch basically messages that are missiles to make impressions because you're getting paid by the impression on their skulls. It's, it's all a little bit violent. So the other metaphor here is about cattle, the cattle drive, the cowboy, and branding, and driving traffic. So the cowboy metaphor is in there as well. Neither one of these is about dealing with civilians, with humans, with citizens. And I think what's happening right now is we're in a great rebalancing where companies and people need to sort out that it's no longer a company in charge inventing mystical products and selling them to consumers by training us with behavioral conditioning, but it's companies making a profit by creating valuable things in conversation with us and often designing them with us and listening to us very carefully and figuring out what this new relationship means. Now, that doesn't mean that the call center at Procter & Gamble needs to call everybody who's ever bought a bar of soap or, or a box of Tide. A bar, it, it does mean that they need to show up as peers. They need to show up more as humans in this environment than as large entities that are kind of mystically behind the scenes and in control. This means transparency. This means vulnerability. This means a lot of other things that are really pretty scary, especially to the legal department. Um, Target and Disney have called these people guests for a long time. Guest is a pretty good word. It implies hospitality. But consumers and eyeballs, really not such good words. There's a lot of other good words. Customer and client are fine words. Member, citizen, participant, family, household, student, fan, patient, a whole lot of interesting words out there besides the big C word.